It's Steve. I don't do that. And Dave and Nick. And we just wanted to say to everybody. Merry Halloween. Have a great Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Happy Halloween, I everybody. Like Merry Halloween. Merry be Halloween. safe. Yes, Enjoy be safe. your candy. Share with your siblings and friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your time. Uh, we hope that you watched a ton of scary movies, binged those Halloween movies, yes. went out trick-or-treating. I'm, I like I like Spookily I like those little I like those little boxes of the dots so send those my way send those his way I'll take regular Hershey bars three musketeers three Thank musketeers you is Nick's favorite but if any, anyways everybody you know, out there comment your favorite that would have been a about- good Halloween costume for us the three crocketeers. Oh, next year it's on next the, year, it's on the docket. Year, next year, next year. That's what we should call next our fans, year, but, the crocketeers. Uh, but anyway, we're about to go into another episode. <laughs> happy, uh, happy Halloween, everybody! On with the show. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Kicking and Crocs the Pod. <laughs> Where we talk about martial arts stuff, spooky stuff, and there's a crying baby in the background. Which you may or may not be able to hear. You won't be able to hear it. It's okay. What? I can hear it, though. We can all hear it. Yes, it's fine. It's, it's my son. He said. Welcome to our official Halloween episode. <laughs> Halloween is this week. We are very, first and foremost, let's start off it's this with week? an apology. Coming up. We are all very sorry. That we got this podcast out a day late. No, 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 we didn't. Um, yes, we did. No, 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 no. The podcast Halloween costume was Monday. The podcast went as ho- as Monday for Halloween. Oh, oh, oh! I see what you're saying. The yeah. podcast the is podcast dressing up, dressed up as, as Monday. a Monday episode yeah. instead of a Sunday episode. That's, <laughs> oh, that's a good costume. That was good a costume podcast. Excellent pivot, sir. That's a reach. Uh, yeah, yes, it's, reach. it's a reach. Uh, reach. reach I will. I will grab that reach and accept it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the, the, yeah just this podcast costume is Monday. It costumed as a Monday episode instead of a Sunday, Sunday episode. But we Monday. still got it out to you guys. We had a lot of scheduling issues so far. That's why the weapons Wednesdays and techniques have not been coming October out. October is a rough month. At least this October. Apparently, uh, this yeah. October. Apparently, been, been you know what's funny? Trying. What's funny is um so. I do have something planned for episode 100. This is technically episode 90. I do have something planned for episode 100. Which should land um, around when? What was that? When should we land on that episode, do you think? About the time episode Kelsey 100? used to do it. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, that means this year still? It's 10 episodes away, so it's 10 weeks technically away. Yeah, no, I get that, but I, I, I didn't count it out. Will that land in Christmas this year? Well, you see. Ooh, that'd be great. How great would that Actually, be? Actually, it would be pretty close to Christmas because we have four weeks of November, four weeks of December. It might land in the new year or it might land <gasps> Unless close we throw it. in a couple bonus episodes to make it happen. On a date we we could do that. We, we don't want to control cheat our own f- in that way. We can control our own fate. Uh, I mean, it is our podcast. We can't decide what we want to do with it. But uh, anyways, we did not introduce ourselves yet. My name is Steve, one third of Kicking and Crocs. I'm Dave, the other third of Kicking and Crocs. And I'm Nick, apparently still allowed to be a third. The final, still the final, third. <laughs> the final, the third. final third. Still the final third. Love it. Even yes, sir. Man. So we week. decided that today we were gonna, since it's our Halloween week episode, we're gonna be going over some Halloweeny type topics. Halloweeny. Halloween. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I held back. <laughs> he did not. That's a hot dog stand. It is. That appears once every. Is it really? No. That'd be so cool, though. <laughs> no, we need to make this happen now. That's a great idea. <laughs> it's a terrible business. Model. No, it's not. It just shows up on Halloween. Yes. It's, it's, it's a one-day business <laughs> oh, idea. Come on, mm. it'd be really cool to do. I bet we could make it. Work. Uh, yeah, you work on that logo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we could make it work. You guys anyway. always, you guys always take sips from your tea at the exact same moment. I just want you guys to know that. Uh, we're it's like yawning. Up. It's like yawning. Right. Yes, 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 somebody yes, does yes, it, yes. and then you got to do oh, it anyway. So funny. we're gonna start off today. With a horror story. Yeah, yeah. We got a scary story for you guys. Yeah, you know, it is Dave's eyes. A Sunday. So, so we got, we got. A Dave's, we'll Dave's start, eyes. We'll this start is a horror with story. Uh, uh, so go ahead. We turn it over to Dave to tell we'll us the scary the story. Everybody, story. get your pillows, hug them tight, because this is going to scare your Crocs off. Which will lead us into a. Uh... So the school does a trunk or treat every year. Ooh. Now, um, part of why October has been a little bit crazy is there, there was a death in my family, my, my wife's uncle. So we've been running around like mad people. So prayers always. The mm-hmm. funeral always. was Friday, the same day as trunk or treat. Mm-hmm. So we left bright and early. Went to the went to funeral. Now did our thing. I had to do a reading at the church. It was it was you know 
a funeral, how they go. And then uh, we came back here to get Declan. My mom watched Declan so that we can go unencumbered. Mm-hmm. And then we were going to bring him to the repass. So we could see, you know, family members that came in that, that, that have never met him and things like that. Awesome, got it. So I had to load up everything because we took two separate cars to the repass because I was coming to Trunk or Treat right from the repass. Mm, got it. So I'm scrambling to get things into the car. So Kelsey's loading up the baby. I'm helping with that, get him in, in, into her SUV. And I'm, I run in, I get my Halloween costume because we got to be dressed up for Trunk or Treat, right? Mm. And I'm like, oh man, I'm still, you know, I'm still going to be in my suit. So I'm like, oh, what shoes am I going to wear? Because we were pirates. We were was, the pirates of the our, dojo. That was our costume. So I was like, Not oh Nick, man, maybe Nick. I'll just wait. I ended I up wearing, for the record, I ended up wearing the dress shoes for my suit. That mm-hmm. actually worked perfectly with my pirate costume. It really did look like but, pirate uh, shoes. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, anyway, so as I'm loading up the stuff and I'm bringing, I'm bringing all the dojo stuff. Like I'm like, I'm gonna put my computer bag in. So I'll just leave it there for the next day. Like I'm, I'm gonna be ready. So as I'm loading that stuff in, I do what I always do. I have my hands are full, so I put my mellow ease, the ones I just got, the black pair that Kelsey accused of looking like. Like old man, old people. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Okay, now I want you to hold on to that thought. Kelsey accused them of looking like old man shoes. Kelsey, mm. Kelsey, lock that thought into your brain. I got the sh- old man shoes part. It's right there. Kelsey. So, old man shoes. I put the shoes on my roof. Load everything up. Close the door. Get in the car. Old man shoes. I got now, it. when I get when I get the trunk or treat. You might remember, as I'm looking for my costume, I go, um, I'm looking through the back seat. I can't find my shoes. Wait a minute. Did you ever take them off the roof and put them in the car? I missed that part of the story. No, I did not. Stop it. So, so we go through all, so I'm looking for the shoes at Trunk or Treat where everybody's putting their costumes on. I was like, oh man, did I put my shoes in? I'm asking everybody, no. So I go back to the car and look in the back seat. It's like, ah, man, I guess I left them at the door. Here. Mm, you wish. I thought I left him at the door here. So Oh, he left them at the door. So we do we do all the house we all do all the trunk or treat. And then I come home. Right? We say it was a big success. We'll get to some of the trunks and stuff in a minute. And then uh we walk in the door, I picked up food for for Kelsey and me and, and uh I'm like, hey. She had we put the put costumes, Declan's costume and stuff uh, down on our bench right at our door, and I'm like, "Hey, were my uh my Crocs here? My mellow my mellow ease?" She's like, "No." I'm like, "Wait a minute, what?" Can, can you picture it in that tone? Like, why would I want to eat? So look I'm looking. So yeah, now seriously. I'm looking. Like, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm moving his costume. Then I'm looking all over the place. Then I'm looking by the table. Then I go back to the uh to my new it's shoe wonderful rack. Wonderful new Crocs, Crocs shoe rack, which you guys will see soon. And I'm like. No, there's a missing spot. What's going on here? That that's where they that's where I keep them. I have them in a specific order. I'm like this is this is so I'm like. Tell me our prodigy was almost a glimpse into the future. The missing spot. So, <laughs> I uh, so I asked Kelsey. I'm like, you didn't see these anywhere. I go, I'm gonna go check my car again, and I go and I check. No my car. ransom note. Nothing. I go, I go, I check the car. I come back out. There's not. There's not definitely nothing in my car. And she goes, oh, wait. I said, what? She goes, there was a pair of black shoes in the street when I first got home. She stopped here to change Declan before she met us at Trunk or Treat. She put him in the costume. She came a little bit later. But I didn't see him when I got home. Like, when she beat me home from Trunk or Treat. I said, wait a minute. You saw a black pair of sneakers? Yeah, oh yeah, it was, they were like right, like You're not one was, get out and grab one was like in our front, no. like front of our driveway and across the neighbors. I'm like, but you didn't look. She's like, oh, no, I'm, why would I go and look? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm probably, if I see a, a, a relatively brand new pair of sneakers sitting, I'm going to check it out. Where did they yeah, come from? You know what, what happened? She could be distracted with the baby, you know, trying to get on time to the uh, place. He's got, he's got a I'm point just point trying to give her a little bit of benefit. Of the no, he's, he's I think it was an evil plan. I think she knew they were mine. So <laughs> she sees them. She's like, so, "Oh no!" I go, "What? Like, they're Dave's gone." Crying. I go, "What?" So sewer. I go, "I go out," and I got, not my, there I got my flashlight, and I'm looking. There's nothing there. I get in my car. I drive all the way down the street with my high beams on, all the way back. He was determined to find these crocs. Nothing. So somebody's walking around. 
supposedly somebody's walking around with these new clocks, but I think Kelsey saw them, and I think she recognized them, and I think she saw this as an opportunity to get rid of them. Mm. But the joke's on her, because as we're sitting there, I was, I was so mad, I ordered... Four more pairs. I, no, I ordered a replacement <laughs> pair. I ordered the exact same shoes that night, like right then and there. You see, that's an adult thing you could do, because you know if that was a kid... Kid, you're responsible for your own stuff now. You don't get anymore, yeah, and you're mom, out. I need a new one. No, well, no, no, no. I mean, I it's bit a, the bullet. I spent my own money on it, and I was yeah. like, "This no, is." No, it's an adult I move. was upset. I was upset, and I was like, "But they only had a few left in stock," and I'm like, "I need." Good thing you jumped on I it. I need. Why are they a limited edition? No, they're just sometimes certain ones yeah, are hard to get. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, they sell out fast. Like, I paid double like, because we're. In, I got the them originally season. when I got them because they popped back in the stock because they're out of stock and I was waiting on them, and then. There were like only a few left of my size. Apparently, I have a pretty popular size. Hmm. So I was like, oh. Because you know. Th- listen, so I so think, I, think I think potentially, I'm not making any accusations, but, but she saw them. The last person to see them was Kelsey. Pause for a quick sec. Hey, guys, it's Steve. There was a whole chunk of this episode where the audio just cuts out. Ugh. So I had to cut that section out. We skip a bit of the next story. Dave starts telling us that one of his Halloween traditions is to go to a whodunit corn maze, which he has never won before. So we're going to pick it right back up in the middle of that story. On with the show. This year was different, right? Nope. Didn't win this year. What we used to do with the youth group, we used to do a uh, Halloween Olympics and and it was a contest. And one of them, my favorite one, it was we wrapped up every single year, would be launching mini pumpkins with a huge slingshot. Oh, and yeah, whoever yeah. can get it the farthest that would win. That sounds like so, so much. So, so the other it night we went fun. to Argo's farm and did the, they have a nighttime pumpkin walk. Okay. Where Ooh. it's all light, lit up. So we used to do, cool. Kelsey and I used to go up to this place called the Great Pumpkin Blaze um, and in New York. The uh, Croton? Croton, Kelsey? The, the Crouton? Croton? Croton on the Hudson. Thank hmm. you, Shadow Half. Um, that's my wife, the shadow half. Um, the shadow. So, it, this was like a mini version of that. So, it's basically like they have plastic carved pumpkins that are lit up at night. And it's like mm-hmm. nice little displays and things like that. You do this little walk. Um, and it was cool. So, we got we took Declan. And, um, you know, his favorite part was just getting... It was the, he was a little wild, so we had to push him to stroll in most of the trail. Mm-hmm. But then we'd get to like the shops at the open field and then we'd let him run. And he was, hmm. he was a bad man. Set the baby loose. And then today, ah! and then today we went to, um, where did we go today? Atlantic Farms. And that had like a, a, a feed the animals, like a, like a, it was like a petting zoo almost, but not, mm-hmm. you, you know, you feed the animals. <laughs> Thank you, Shadowhead. Do you want to just come tell the story? <laughs> you're, you're spoon feeding the details from the side anyway. So it was cool because that, like, we took him there last year with my parents. And, you know, she's like the teleprompter. He was two months old. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he didn't really do much. This year, he's like walking all over the place. He's oh, feeding, he's he cruising. Loves, he loves feeding all the animals. So they give you like a bucket full of carrots and peas for some reason. Like I guess they like string, no 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 string beans string beans string beans, beans. String beans. Like, string beans. kids um, they're getting bit at that one and they don't Just like the string no the, the goats don't like the <laughs> yeah. string beans the, 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 no but whatever um so there was llama not llama alpaca alpaca alpaca, alpaca. which are almost the same thing so yeah awesome. my sister in law has alpaca on her farm so oh. Kelsey doesn't like alpaca yeah but they well, were there. Yeah, uh, that's they're because, goofy the, that's because the arrangement wasn't. So we, uh, we, we feed the goats. <laughs> so he would love him feeding the goats. He'd love feeding the alpaca. It's always great to um, feed the goats from the other side of the of the fence because you go in to feed the goats and you bend over, they will headbutt you. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I saw a video. They have the little other day. baby ones though. They have little oh, little, they'll, they'll, they'll yeah. You know, like any. Animal well, they do goat yoga there. where they're walking all over you when you're doing yoga. What? You didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know that was a thing. Goat yoga. Look, look up pictures of it right now. Oh, wait. So, just so you know, my wife just shouted from the kitchen, Nick, where have you been? Uh, Here, I guess. Uh, the shadow half. You can get the digs Ooh, in on old man, Nick. Oh, final third. The final third. You know, goat yoga. I mean, is it a, is it a class? Or what yeah, there'll be yeah, man, it's a, it's a thing. Taught. It's usually outside. Hey, wait, anybody do, else heard of goat yoga and yeah, think it's absolutely below. ridiculous? Pretty much everybody's heard wow, of it. Wow, this is as ridiculous as I imagined. This is so... Awesome, but um, no. What was most not interesting? Not at all. I hope all these people get hit in the head by a goat. I hope the goats put their heads down 
and just knock them <laughs> my, over. My kid, though. Because that would be hilarious. So my sister, I was calling him a, For me. My sister, I was calling him a farm boy, though, because he's so... He loves animals. He was loving feeding the goats. He was loving feeding the everything. You've also had him exposed to the farm since he yeah, was yeah, an he's infant. Yeah, yeah, he's gone to Kelsey's sister's he's obsessed farm so with, so, so you know how he points? Yeah, he points at any truck that goes by yeah. or anything. Like, he loves heavy machinery and things like that. Like, mm-hmm. a truck goes by, he's pointing at it. Yeah, he's a truck kid. Man, we sure. took him on the, the tractor ride, like the hay ride, which, by the way, there's no hay. The last three places we went to, the hay ride. They don't it, put hay in the trailer? No. No. That's, what are you sitting on? What? That, so that's just a tractor. Ride. That's just a tractor. Anyway, yeah. he couldn't take Don't his eyes off the tractor. Ride. So he's watching the tractor the whole time. We're driving like on the on the back of the you know on the wagon. And then uh we get down after the ride, and then he walks up to the tractor. And the guy is pretty friendly. He's, he's talking and he's touching the tires and he's grabbing now, the Does your sister in law have a tractor to do any of the work on the farm? Uh, mm, uh, no, they have like a little ATV thing. Okay, so and okay, I didn't know if they did it for clearing some of the land where the horses are running, or you know, great. No, I they have this. This is the Atlantic Farms. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. talking about. No, no, I'm saying I didn't know if. Your oh no, my no, your my sister in law. No, 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 because yeah, that's yeah. that's a literal working horse barn. Yeah, it, that's what they do. You know, they're not really farming and. Yeah, no, but sometimes you have a tractor. Yeah, to, to, to pick the, the field, to turn the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so no, they, they, they do so that. if they're doing the indoor and they're doing like the the dirt, I assume they drag something behind their ATV or whatever it is. Oh, got it. Kelsey okay. would, that would make more, sense. more uh, in the know on that, but in the know. Do you guys do any? Did you take the kids pumpkin? You kids don't really no. like Halloween, though. No, no. They do not like Halloween. They just like it. Uh, I, I, what, what was it? The. Um, What's the name of that that movie? It was a super kid friendly movie. It was like a the pumpkin, but it's like a square pumpkin or something. Um, oh, 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 come on, you know what I'm talking which about. Which brings me to the next you know. topic. I don't have my phone. Oh uh, no, here, find it. <laughs> no, you look it up. You look it up. Oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the, my kids. I like, talk about that. My kids like the let's say the Disney version of Halloween. They don't like it scary. They don't like it super the goofy spooky. kid version. Okay. Yeah, they like it very like. So they'll they'll love the video we have coming and, out on October 31st. Uh oh, don't early plug it. I love it. Oh, no, it I'm is early plug. We're absolutely yeah. early plug. I already posted something about um, it today. Nice. So we want people to watch. I mean, you know, they didn't like anything horror. It wasn't until she was, my daughter was like seven, I could even have her in a store with a skeleton mask anywhere. Ugh. It just really freaked her out. And Luca's a little bit better, but not significantly better. They just don't like, they don't like creepy. And what's funny, because my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law love it. So we went over to their house one time for our, uh, get, uh, like a little party they had. And, and she does a great job decorating, especially when she's doing a party. I love that. I, I don't mind that stuff. But she had a doll that would roll around the room. The eyes were gone and it had uh, a red light. No, and my kids no, were like, no. nope, I'm okay. No, I, <laughs> I, she I shut would it off and hit it right I would not be okay with that. Nope, not that. So it's Listen, my, if it's just it sitting there, so fine. Cool. But if it's rolling around, yeah, I'm good. It was, it's my mother in law's It's my mother in law's favorite holiday. Yeah. She, like, she likes Halloween. She gets all decorated. And Kelsey's not a, not a, not a huge fan. Mm, okay. But it did bring me to my next topic here. Tell us. Go for it. Halloween movies. Woo! Ooh, there we go. Since you, and I'm since you went right into it. it, let's talk about it. Do you so, have favorite Halloween first movies? First of all, let's yeah, let's let's have him look up whatever square, square pump- pumpkin. Something that, I forget what the name of the square is. It pump- Charlie is. Brown? Is it the Charlie no, Brown? No, 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 no. Talk the Great Pumpkin, ones, Charlie no. Brown. Yeah, it's the. Great is that what it is? The Great Pumpkin, pumpkin Charlie, Charlie Brown? Brown. The Shadow Half is confirmed. It is the Great Pumpkin. Charlie That's Brown. not what. Yeah, I'm looking up. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie. Do you consider the Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween movie or Christmas movie? It's both. It is. Yep. You consider it both. It's both. I mean, because and you, every significant fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas has said the same thing. Mackenzie Cash, big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. The, she watches the it both. The nighttime holidays. walk we do. Okay. Obviously, they have a whole section for for Jack Skellington. Yes. And it Jack was Sally. called Spookily, and he's a Spookily. square pumpkin. Yes, Spookily, Spookily the square pumpkin. It's a kids. It's a. Kids I've never movie. heard of this yeah. in my life. Yeah. yeah. See, Spookily, Spookily the square pumpkin. Yeah. When did that come out? It's. I mean, it's, my kids watched it since they were little, little. So I don't know the exact year it launched. But hey, Kels, you it. ever heard of Spookily the Square Pumpkin? Yeah. The one. Shadow Half said Only no. The reason why I know about it is because I have younger siblings. Yeah. So this Spookily is what they Spookily yeah. the Square Pumpkin. They loved it. Yeah, yep. they love it. And it's a very, you know, the Disney fan Junior friendly. That, 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 the Disney Junior thing. Oh, is it? Like, it might be. Let me see the bottom. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it yes, it's yep. Disney Junior. There you go. That's yep. what I say. Disney 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 they like Disney Halloween. I said that. Yes. So yeah. they like Spookily. They like Spookily. I mean, I've seen all the Halloween episodes because, like, like, 
we get up in the morning and Declan likes his bluey and his yep. so there's Halloween episodes of um Spider Man and his amazing friends. Of course. There's a Halloween episode of uh Pup Struction. Nice. Uh, there's a Halloween episode of Super Kitties. Nice. There's two Halloween episodes of Super Kitties. So Izzy now jumped into I don't know if you consider this a Halloween movie, but Edward Scissorhands. Oh, yeah. I would say that, yeah. That you could make that a Halloween movie. That doesn't creep her out. Creepy. No, not now. She doesn't get creeped out as much. As like I said, she's older now. So now she. No, I know she's Edward, older. Edward, Edward says her hands. She movies. wants to watch Beetlejuice, which we have not been able to find. Beetlejuice, on any I like. You know, no, Beetlejuice yet. is out on a. Um, I just saw it on a streaming. You have to rent it though. Yeah, because I think it's because the second one's coming out, so they put it back on the rental cir- uh, uh, circuit. The second one came out already. Yeah, yeah so right. I think my because that one just see. came out. But she's like, see, yeah, I, I could do it. Beetlejuice. I like Beetlejuice. I can't. I don't like horror movies. I'm not like a horror movie either. person. I'm not a big horror to this movie day. Fan. I'm not like I don't like. So scary what's the things. one that everybody liked that actually had the girl from Beetlejuice on it that was on Netflix? The, the, the horror Wednesday. Wednesday. No, 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 no. The horror show. It was out a couple years ago. Horror was, show. Seven was in it. The character was named Seven. She had a oh, you know oh, oh, yeah. You're thinking of uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah. So, like, so you don't like that kind of stuff? No, no, no. So I like considered horror though, is it? So Stranger Things. Stranger Things gets not really. It's like okay. So the first couple of seasons yeah. the first couple of seasons of stranger things are so season one and season two are a little less they're, the they're last a little one more is tame. very different so then each season got progressively more towards i would say the scary or yeah. the creepy i would say um, it grew the up first with the audience. one already was pretty yeah but it was tolerable the end, but the it was, house is coming out of the wall and all that it stuff. was tolerable though because even kelsey who is watching stranger things with me and if you know my wife it's very difficult to get her to watch things with me yeah um, the, we have not watched the final season yet. It's you, none of it. None of it. It's a one eighty. So, well, we watched the, the season before yeah. that. She goes, I don't think I could watch this anymore because it's getting it's getting borderline like. Then, well, too the last much. one definitely. And I liked it. I liked Stranger Things. I don't like creepy things either, though. But I'll tell you what gets me. I have to watch. I can't watch them at night. No. Yeah, I, I don't. Which is when I have to watch everything. So I'll tell you what gets me though is and i won't watch the movies at all the ones that are based on heavy Dude. reality yeah, yeah, yeah like saw Ugh. i don't I, you know i don't watch the saw movies. i can't watch alien abduction movies things Ugh. like that that creeps me out more than anything yeah, which one i never even the supernatural that. or the ones, ones that are based in like like fire in the them. sky which is based on like uh, you know a quote unquote now, true story ready not How halloween you? not even horror but thriller like predator Aliens, yeah. right? You don't cons- you don't like aliens? No, really. The original, I like that. Alien and Aliens, and anything beyond that I'm was like, into eh. that. How about now? This was more of like a comedy crossover. Alien vs Predator, loved it. I let me it tell you great. though. Let me tell you though. I was almost traumatized. So good. I was almost traumatized as a kid because if you remember, um, it was loosely based on Alien, but. There was a ride in Disney World. Hmm. It's now the Lilo and Stitch ride. Okay, so they definitely made a turn Experience. Here. <laughs> From whatever you're about to tell me. But it was called Alien Encounter. Oh, I never went on it, but I've heard of it. I went on it. It was the most terrifying thing of my life. What? And then they, they literally had to shut down the ride after a couple of months. And like, we got to retool this. This is too scary for like Disney. Disney, yeah. It was no, that, so, but what, what, tell me. Tell so me about you sit it. in a room. Yeah. You know how Disney does everything like like over the top. Oh, of course, so, their production value. Is have you wild. done the Lilo, Have yeah. you done the Lilo and Stitch show thing there now? No. Okay. <laughs> we did the uh, Haunted Mansion. All right. And Haunted Mansion's not bad. No, but when you're done, I'll tell you my Haunted Mansion story. So, so you sit in this big round like th- so. The whole thing is like oh, you're in the space station, and they build the whole thing up, and you walk. Which through is, the- they're awesome at it, yeah. right? And then they're talking about. Um, Dangerous aliens, blah blah blah, criminals, the red alert whatever. Goes on. So you sit down and they're working on this new experiment, and then oh no, like the glass is breaking. The, or the glass is in the middle, it's like the tube, the contaminant. Yeah, gotta do and it. And you're sitting in this round amphitheater, and then the thing breaks free. So the glass breaks, lights go off, right? And you're sitting and I, here like, that, what? But it's, <laughs> but it's all, it's all immersive, right? This is not part of the show, so, folks. Right, and they're doing the whole, yep, and then they yep. got the smoke, they got the alarms, they got, and they make it sound like it's crawling through the air vents, and oh, you can see it moving above you, and it's dark, oh, and then like, man. what you don't notice when you sit down in the seats is that they have like a, a, a pressure system that touches your shoulders. Oh. Yeah, and so, underneath too, right? They have the air underneath. systems, yeah. No, so like, so like <laughs> when this thing 
drops breaks out. down. You feel it land on your shoulders. Oh, Boom, you did you start crying like instantly? Oh my god, I was like, I was like eleven, and I was like uh, traumatized. I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Disney is the worst. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> so, back. so years later, I went back and it's the Lilo and Stitch ride. And now it's like they captured Stitch and then he breaks through the glass. So they kept a lot of the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. Lilo, it's, it's Stitch running around. And yeah. like, he's like, oh, I'm over here. And he bounces on your shoulder and he bounces over here. And, and it's like fun and yeah. playful. And I'm like, oh God. Well, but they had to change because they got so many complaints. Universal Studios had the Terminator experience. Same thing. Oh, I did that movie. too. Yeah, And yeah. they changed that to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Same uh, exact state. They got rid of everything and now all of a sudden, like, you're flying with bees and there's, you know, sprinklers but it's same concept. They came And it wasn't even that that's scary. But they did have actors Why come out as the Terminator it? in the middle of it, which was pretty cool. I'm going I'm to look I up uh, Alien Encounter. So, while you do that, we were on the Haunted Mansion ride. Now, yeah. it took me a while to convince Isabella to go. My sister still doesn't like that ride. And I told her, I said, it's roads. really, it's fun, honey. It's not, like, scary, but it is ghosts and things of that nature. Finally, she goes, Dad, I want to go on the Haunted Mansion. I'm like, okay, go. great. Yeah, nice. I said, now, make sure if you don't want to go, you don't have to do it for Daddy. She said, no, 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 it's, I, I really do want to try. I see it. Of course we go. We go on the ride, and it's again, it's hokey. I'm, uh, when Isabel was younger, as long as you could talk her through what was happening, then it didn't. She didn't like surprise scares. Gotcha. Like, I knew that ride. I'm like, oh, this is what's gonna happen next. Here's this guy's gonna come out, da, 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 and she was fine with it, except for the fact that we're in a room with a floating orb and a mystical being talking in the orb. Makes sense. Go, yeah, we get stuck. Oh, the ride got stuck. Not only did it get stuck, we were in that ride. 15 minutes. Oh. I'm like, out of all the times. And Was it not I, moving? Like you were just sitting there? But but the, now the ghosts are still active around. The thing just is still you get doing. an idea, Steve. It would move two or three feet and then stop again. And they, 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 they try to come on the speaker system and talk to you. Oh, we have to get a video of it. We have to get it. That looks like Metroid right there. It was closed in um, 1994. It is... It, it, and, oh, and, imagine and, what it would look like nowadays. I know. And oh, is he coming God. out of it? It'd be was virtual awesome. reality now. Yeah, is he coming out was awesome. But man, out of all the rides for that to have happened on, it's the one that I was already hesitant with her even going on it. Yeah. But now she still like, talks about it. It was a good ride. It was. It's a friendly ghost ride. My yeah. favorite part is when you're at the end of the ride. You're sitting in the chair and you, you turn yeah. towards mirrors and the ghost is in between we you always, chatting. We always like oh, to read. That's cool. that's cool. We always like to read the tombstones like then because they're all jokes. Yes, they're, all they're really cool. Yes, but, yes, yes. So this, this alien encounter opened this. It was over the previous December 16th, 1994, and it closed December January 17th, 12th. 1995. Really? Wow. wow. So Long I month. just managed to get in there. Wow. You Thank get, you, parents. You get horrified for the Thank three months you. it was open. Thank you, parents. So, in in honor of uh, Ooh, that was terrifying. Yesterday, uh, or, or this past Saturday, my buddy Joe came over and we played Dead Space. Have you ever played Dead Space? Ah, uh, it's another scary game. Very. Yeah. very I don't do intense. scary games very very well. Oh yeah. Well, that's another one where I do my best to not play it in the evening. But that's another one where the lights go off in the game and all of a sudden there's something right in your face. Ugh. Yeah, it's a fun game. I, yeah, that, no. that's, that's like The Last of Us. I couldn't play that at night because the clicking sounds freaked me out. Oh, I never was a big Resident Evil fan because again, I can't freaks me read. Out. Um, you can't read the, uh, the author of it, Stephen <laughs> King. Stephen King books. Some of his books are creepy. I just stop. Yeah, I know. One was called it was like The Cabin or something, and I and I just. I'm in the middle of the book. Yeah, going, he is, good. without a doubt, the best horror author. It's in yeah. the world. Yeah. The fact that words can just shut your mind. I'm always like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, because yeah. you know why? It's because it's all up here yeah, now, so yeah. you make it. They build it enough for you to make it real. Thank exactly. God Kelsey yeah. also is not into horror stuff, so like we're good. We're good. Yeah, no. But, and Nicole well, we, isn't so, at all. So, so we took, fine. so that was going to be a problem, though, I can tell you already. We went to, the we went to, um, so we were costume shopping. We took them to uh, Spirit Halloween. Okay. Now, if you've been to Spirit Halloween, at least the one in this area, you know, you walk like, in. That's why I couldn't take Isabella. They have a big younger. creepy thing that jumps out. Like uh -huh. it jumps out, He's springs, and it's like He's laughing his butt off. <laughs> and uh -oh. then, like, he punches it. There's all these creepy, like, carnival things. He wants to walk through the tunnel with, like, that. And he's laughing his butt off. And we're like, he's holding oh, this your hand for your benefit. <laughs> this, no, that's the thing. I got you, Dad. This kid is super independent. He doesn't, like, he's like, nah, I, he ripped his hand away. Like, I got this. 
And you're like, oh my god. Well, I love seeing him by the stairs today, and he sits there and just pulls his hand. I was like, okay, come he, on. Yeah, well, he knows this. when it's time. But, but it's, it's cool. stairs time. All right, yeah, yeah, it's cool. So I got two more topics. Those more topics. Okay. Uh, one near and dear. Because we have yet to decide what we're carving our pumpkin this year. And you know, my oh, wife. Well, I do want to say, put your favorite Halloween movie on the comment section. Halloween I would movie. love to know what you guys Let us know. I think is definitely. And do you think the, what was it, The Nightmare Before Christmas? No, which one do we Nightmare think? Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, Nightmare is Before Christmas. Both Halloween and Christmas. So I can't tell you. I like, those Christ- I, like uh, I like Christmas movies better. Cause Nicole loves them. Oh, my God. You get all the rom coms. And I'm a rom com guy. I'm not. Oh, Me neither. Oh, you, no. you get all the Christmas action movies, which are way better. I, I was just what reading. Think about I was just reading one. about the red one. Red yeah, one. The one. Red one. I'm With actually interested. I, oh, well, we, I was just reading that they spent two hundred and thirty something million dollars on making it, and it's only expected to bring in uh, like twenty thousand, like thirty six <laughs> million at, at, at uh, Open domestic. Night. When is it coming out? Closer to Christmas. November. No, no, it's coming out in November. And that's yeah. the problem. It's like well, it's coming out in November. Yeah, really and it's a Christmas early. movie. It's coming out early. Luca wants me to take him to see uh, Venom Three. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. he's really yes. into the Venom movies, Itchy. and he wants to see it. He My wants to see creator. no, no, he yeah. wants to see no, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. symbiote. He's like, yeah. I really hope they don't kill him. I was like, yeah, I hope so too. Well, no? yeah, because he's a super being. So okay, well, like, Noel's not going to show up on Earth. Well, no, regardless, he's just hoping it doesn't happen where somehow he dies in the movie. That's all. He's like, I hope if not. they were to do that, I don't, I don't think they would understand the amount. They're gonna do that. Yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> no, they're, they're like. Happen. They're gonna kill him. That's exactly what they're gonna do because they need a resolution at the end of that movie, yeah, and that's gonna, gonna be their resolution. No, no they, they actually don't. They, the resolution. No, can I, be, I okay I, now. Marvel I, picks it up. I, I, Tom well, Holland's hint. I don't know if they're ready to do it. Tom Holland, the king of spoilers, has hinted at it. That's the rumor. Anyway, pumpkin carving. Yes, I. Wait, so we know my wife and I always do like an elaborate, like yeah, pumpkin yeah. carve. Yeah, yeah. Um, we haven't decided what we're doing yet. I'm pushing for bluey. Oh, I think you guys should do kicking and Crocs. Again, my wife and I carve together. So yeah, so she could do some Crocs and you do Croc go. No, no, she will not agree to that. She well, could. You do guys your better hurry because Halloween is coming. Oh, we crocs. always do it just before. Um, but creative pumpkin carving. What do you got? You, you carve pumpkin? What do you do over there? No, we don't carve pumpkin. Ever? My little sister carved pumpkin this year, but it's just regular jack o' lantern face. Really? Did you ever like do the pumpkin carving stuff? Me? No. No, never. No. Not interested. No. All right then. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> we definitely. Well, we you did. with your wood burning, we I would did. imagine. No, yeah, that would did. actually be really cool. Do some stuff with the wood. Well, burn. there's some cool things because you can carve the pumpkin jack o' lantern style, where style where you can put the light through, or you can just carve the outside of the pumpkin into like faces without going through. Into yeah, the no, inside. people do that with, with the shading. And yes. That. Wait, that's we talked about. I have not done we, that yet. I when we're looking to. at when we're looking at pumpkins, like we always look online to see like different designs that we just kind of Kelsey freehands the design. From whatever we looked at online, like so, we want to do like when we did a stitch pumpkin for Leo yep. and Stitch. She found a pumpkin online and she free hands it off of that. Well, you know what you could do. We but did this for the kids. Dave. When something comes up with shading, yeah. no, I know you can put the templates on. Yeah, and you use the hole puncher. Yeah, we don't. We don't holes. do that. Uh, but you could. We did we like that. We've done it a couple it. times. Um, Makes it easier to cut sometimes too. But anyway, but we, we, I mean, we cut it with knives. We don't draw. She draws it on first, then we cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, anytime there's shading. Like, if we see a really elaborate one, it's cool, but they're shading. She's like, nah, I can't do that. Like, yeah, it's, it, the shading is tough. But you know what's a really cool way to practice? On an apple. You carve the side, you, you uh, clean the side of the apple, and then you just use like, plastic tools, and you carve right into the apple. The apple consistency is very similar to the pumpkin consistency, but smaller, obviously. Interesting. Yeah. Or soft soap, where you can get at any store. It's like, you can get a whole bunch of them for like a couple dollars, and you can carve into the soap. Or and again, these are nice that testing. To carve. I guess not. No, yeah. but I'm saying, like, if you no, ever yeah, want no, to like, test them, yeah, yeah. you know. Guys, you got apples? And what the cool, the cool with the apple is you can spray paint it and then seal it with the hairspray, and that could be a decoration. See? Pretty neat, right? How, that's not your, I, I've been to your house. Huh? You don't have any of that going I have on. none of that stuff because <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one doing it all right now. So I'm just like, I, I'm still trying to finish are that you big carving car, Are you going to carve the pumpkin? I don't know this year if we're going to even get to it because I wanted to take them last week. Schedules didn't allow it. And we have, at this point, only a couple of days left. Yeah. So um, Go tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. 
get a Bye strap right pumpkin just get it yeah, done yeah, yeah. yeah just just to do it uh i like the little ones like you you put them in like do a little you, uh, like design now and your then kids one would do the, the pumpkin the hayride and all that that didn't we used to not now and and n- only non-scary ones and very oh well, yeah well, we only did the to be honest ones. i i, I want to say we did it twice we didn't do it a lot when i was younger my mom used to take me all the time. So we used to take my nephews. But my kids, to, not as much. We used to take the nephews to Argos Farms because they have a lot of like, it's not scary. You go during the day. They have like a lot of other attractions. Like they had a corn cannon where you shoot like oh, that's cool. Ears of corn and try and hit targets. They have a slide you can go down. I have video um, of Isabella in a corn like um instead of a ball pit, it's a corn pit. They have so that. that in there that's Argos. That. Yeah, Argos. I has think that's that most of where we were then. Yeah, they have because the, the they have the maze, pit. but it's low. So the kids can yep. see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. they also have a bigger maze too. They have an adult in the back. I think it was yeah. Yeah, that's I think that's where we went a couple years ago. We have a really nice video of the kids in the corn uh, doing their thing. So that's really neat. Did you do that yourself no. as far as the corn mazes or any of that kind of stuff? Eh, maybe once or twice, but no, never no. I do. So real quick, when you carve the pumpkins, do you uh, cook the pumpkin seeds? Kelsey does. So, we never did when I was a kid. Oh, we did. Uh, that I can remember because my mom does like pumpkin seeds, I think. But Kelsey's dad loves them. So, so she good. does. She makes the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, you sure. just basically drown them in salt, put them in, roast them. Yeah, she and that's does so that. Good. Yep. Oh yeah, a little bit of oil or spray maybe, but that's, that's about it. That, so nice. I, I don't ever remember doing that when we carved pumpkins as kids. But Kelsey, like, always, mm. we always have to do it. We pick them out. Cool. So. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, I, 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 so uh, we don't know what we're gonna carve yet. Not even a. An idea? Bluey. Like, comment some ideas. Bluey. Bluey was on there. Spider-Man and his amazing friends was on there. Comment some ideas, people. Um, Dave needs help. We try not to do repeats. We did Perry the Platypus one year. It was excellent. Perry the I think I saw that one. That you had a picture awesome. of it. It looked really good. Plama. Yeah, I, I played the I played the, Perry, the Perry Platypus Plama. The do 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 Oh yeah, I played the whole I put up an Instagram, played the video. I love it. You, did, you guys it. have a cool like setup out front. It's not over the top, but a nice like couple different sections of Yeah, setup. I bought the one decoration today actually at the uh which one? At the, the, I just put in that little haunted sign that oh, that was okay. added today. I gotta go look at that because um, I bought that at the farm we were at. I like the skeleton with the spider around his neck or whatever yep. that is. That's pretty cool. Yep. Um, I, I didn't see that. I didn't even pay attention to that. It's not look at it later. When we first got that that the just the skeleton face. Mm. That thing would go off. We didn't know it had like a sensor night, and it would go off, and it makes like a ooh. Oh, you know what we saw, and it kept going off in the middle of the night. So oh, it'd be no. like one in the morning, nope. and we hear like woo. I, nope. I was like, "What is that?" We had to get up and like Shut find that. I figured that was a damn thing. We had to get up we, and fix it. Yeah, we, no, we're, we were by a yard the other day, and it was it was dusk, but not dark yet. But the Halloween stuff was on, and it was a, a swing on a tree. That swung by itself. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that was did, cool. Did you? See, if yes. you go down my block, if you go down my block, um, he doesn't always have it on. He, it's usually on during the weeknights. It's not on during the weekdays. But you, if you go down this way, you don't usually come from that direction. No, I come the other way. But if you, if you're like four houses down, there's a big house, right? Yes. He has a whole theme to it where yes. it's like there's a larger skeleton ordering yes. around smaller skeletons. Yes. And it's a whole scene. At best and then he's got one of these big windows. I come from the direction. Like arcing windows. And he's got one of those really good projectors. Yes, yeah, nice. So it looks like there's skeletons dancing in the window. Yeah, that's cool. He does it for Christmas as well. It's like a, sn- a Yeah, the projector has different... He has a skating us uh, like snowman in the, in the window. Mm. He does it for Christmas. But it is by far one of the best Halloween... Setups locally, right? And supposedly, there's one. Um, we didn't get to it last year, but inside on our running path, there's a guy he doesn't put any of his stuff out till Halloween because it's all animatronic. Whoa, mm. so it's like the and he'll put up a sign like under construction, see us on Halloween. And like, apparently, it's a, it's a pretty Halloween day. He lets people in. It's we have a guy now, and now the kids are used to it, they get upset if they don't find him. But when, we, when they were younger, it was really tough. His garage door opens, and oh, he would yeah, do it yeah. a couple minutes, and it, it's all filled with dried ice, so the smoke would come out of the garage. He had the lights in the background, and he would come out with a mask, with like a messed up shirt, dragging an axe, <laughs> holding <laughs> a box, I got a thing of candy. None of the kids wanted to go near him. There's None a guy across from my Aunt and Laura. And he loved it, loved it. There's a guy across from my Aunt Laura and Uncle Ed, because we popped out of them last Halloween. We did like We took Declan around to different family members. And he has this vintage old, like, gangster car. Like, legitimately, like, an old. Uh, and he individually wraps in a pretty solid bag, like, little bags of money. Like, old school, like, he robbed a bank. Oh, and, wow. so it's like, And inside's all chocolate coins and stuff. But, like, it's a pretty hefty, solid bag. So, he's dressed up as a gangster. 
Okay. And you just go up to the car, and you can get you get the little bag for the back seat. It's pretty neat. That's it's pretty. Cool. It's pretty yeah, solid. Uh, they. I like when people have like different keep like the gun, ideas. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Exactly. Well, we had one uh, not last year, the year before. They had the Halloween candy for the kids. But then for the adults, they had the mini yeah. alcohol bottles. Yeah. And the wife came out as like a maid. And then the husband was there as a butler. So he gave the candy and she gave out the, the drinks. It was so cool. Oh, neat. It was neat. And the uh, house was decorated nice too. So final topic. Final, final topic. topic. Do it. Favorite Halloween costume that you saw this year at the Drunker Treats? Did you have a favorite that you saw? If you, I mean, one. you weren't really out and about, yeah, Nick. So I can't really. Think. There was I'm one at the Trunker Treat that I worked on Saturday. It was a little kid. It was a. Uh, it was. Oh, was it the mom or the dad? I forget which parent was pulling this little like wagon, and in the wagon was like that old school trash can. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then Oscar, tell me, yeah, Oscar the Grouch. That would have been my favorite. That would have been my favorite. And I loved that. that. Cost. Cost. They, they pop out as Oscar the Grouch. I was like, oh my. Gosh, that's incredibly creative. That's a solid movie. costume. That's a I solid costume. It. That is a solid costume. I, I like love that. it. Um, what else? What else was there at, at the... Uh, I, know Drunk Tree. I mean, I saw a lot of Drunk anime Tree. characters from, from Demon Slayer. There's um, anime characters. There is a uh, video game character. The need to regular is like food, like M&M. Yeah. yeah there's some cute those. little... little nice. There's cute little girls and boys. There like was one of our little ones that was literally... Was like, somebody was Bluey. Uh, not Bluey. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, um, somebody was, somebody bingo. was Bingo. Like the no little... No Big Red Dog this year. No Clifford. No. No, no Clifford. Um... That shows Power, Power Rangers, any Power Rangers? There's a Power Ranger, yeah. So there's Power Ranger, Ranger, Ninja. Red Ranger. Uh, you have a bunch of ninjas. There's one uh, of Harry two. Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, other pirates. Yeah, uh, uh, those other pirates. Well, there. they are. I think you're going to see another little. Spider Man. Spider Man. A lot of Spider Man. A they're, lot of descendants. They are talking about coming out the series for Harry Potter. Yeah, no, on yeah. HBO Max. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but new actors. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. If the original don't make cameos, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, but don't forget, they had a falling out with her a little bit, some of them. Yes. Uh, recently. What does that have to do with the series? The series doesn't have anything to do with her. It she has, doesn't it's, it's sign It's a whole thing. It. It's a whole thing not appropriate for this podcast. Oh. <laughs> Why okay. they had a falling out? I would. I would. We're not going to get into that. But I was. But like. So Harry Potter. HBO costumes. Max making the show. Yeah. They can still call the actors and get to make a cameo. They listen, don't need J.K. Rowling's approval. Listen, I'll just say this. Money talks. Yeah, seriously. They don't yeah. Money. Yeah. And that's not true. That you don't nonsense. know what her agreements are for sign-offs. They don't need yeah. it. No. It's just they don't, true. They don't I know. I, I know you know all the big business contracts. I'm, I'm telling I, I you guarantee you. I guarantee you that all that she does is she just gets a paycheck. I no. I, you are 100% no. wrong. You're no, 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 no. series that's coming out? No, no. J.K. Rowling maintains a lot of control of her work. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very good. That's good for her because a lot of people don't. No, a lot. No, no. No, 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 no. Um, a lot okay, of authors, we'll a lot. Out. No, no, a lot of authors don't because they, yeah. when they sign when they sign the rights like a movie, like because they're That's offering why you see X so amount many of money, movies being so much worse. Than but books. when they offer X amount of money, they they, they relinquish the creative the, control yeah. of the project. Well, she definitely did not do that. She did not do that. No. No. Well, she was smart about that. No, yeah. but there are a good number of authors that absolutely when that they done. sign off because I've, I've looked into man? this pretty heavily. Uh, when <laughs> they sign right, off, yeah. they they give up. The rights because they get they get a big paycheck. Yep. Well, no, she she's been on set and part of the creative of every single movie. Uh, and I don't know about every cartoon and video game and all that kind of stuff, but I think anything cinema wise, she's got to sign off on it still. So yeah, I'd be curious to look into thing. that, but yeah, see, see what the, the play deal. was. Also awesome. the same. The play, this is you different. saw the play, right? I saw the play. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chris Child, fantastic. Yeah, it was very good. Yes. Oh my god, amazing! They I, did such uh, a great job with it. Yeah, loved it. Any costumes? Yeah. I, I don't know if I have a costumes. I don't know if I have a favorite this year yet. There's always some creative. But ones. I saw less because you mentioned that he had the theme. There was, also mentioned, there was a scream one. There was a scream one. The big ones. skeleton. Last year, I feel like they were everywhere. This year, I don't feel like I'm seeing as many of the big skeleton decorations on the yards. I'm saying. You oh, I seen a lot of them. I, I feel like last year something had going on fire sale. They were everywhere. Yeah, no, I seen a lot of them. I've seen a good amount of them. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's, I'm trying to think of the one stands out where I was like, wow, it's really creative. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look Just the Oscar the, the Grouch one, that was it. Where it was an actual you know, uh, kid in a trash can. I was like, oh my God, that's incredible. <laughs> that is cool. You ever see the one with the Transformers where they made it out of like... Um, um, Crocs cardboard? the Go was pretty Car- good. Cardboard. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. Joe being Crocs the Go. And I can't wait. He wore a crocodile onesie and then put the gi over it and stuff like that. And he had his Crocs on. 
that looks so cool. It was pretty cool. Oh yeah, but that, even just the thought of how to put it together was neat. I like it. We might have but... to cast him as a uh, in the live action kicking in crops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put him in a full green screen suit. <laughs> right. The, That's it. In the live action kicking in crocs uh, series. Uh, after a, our web comic, I have a after bring, our like, comic, uh, cartoon, skeletal heavy. frame of the crocodile head over him, and he's running around like it. That would be so awesome. Right. So, Phone shut down. No. no. Awesome. We didn't run out of memory. All right. Well, the audio. I, I guess. I guess it's time to kick this croc in the comfort mood. Kick it in the comfort mode. I think last oh, Halloween episode we talked about candy. Mood. About what? Last Halloween episode we talked about candy. Yeah, yeah. We had the candy huh? contest, which we didn't do this year, the candy contest. Oh, well, we didn't have a guest oh, to do it. So. That's true. We had Mike last time. We'll get Alex for a guest hopefully next week, hopefully. Cool. If not, then whatever. But because he's a good guy to talk about Halloween stuff with. I like it. Let's do it. He's big into horror movies. He is big into horror movies. Oh, this is true. Well, he likes that. Uh, even the game. That's that. He likes the creepier, the better. No, I know. But he, he also, he's the only guy I know with a subscription to Shudder. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been a subscriber for years. Yeah. Oh, which is a horror, that. which is like horror. It's the horror no, it's Netflix for it's horror Does movies. Sarah like horror too. Then? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, oh, not as much as him. I don't, I don't think, think as much but, as him. But she's into it. She'll watch him. I don't, cool. I don't think anywhere near as much as him. But yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we're in. Well, yeah, so. absolutely. In. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Uh, well, if you have not already, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and on TikTok at Kicking in Crocs. K I C K I N dot in dot Crocs. C R O C S best subscribe to us on youtube to watch the video versions of this podcast and our halloween video and coming out. our very special mm-hmm. halloween video awesome out. see it comment um, on it love it share it October 31st halloween itself at 1 p.m be ready for it everybody be ready mm-hmm. and if you're listening on- <laughs> you know there are times where i wonder I just wonder if there's just who who uh, wrote the book of love. There are times. Listen, there is <laughs> when we were doing our Halloween video. Yeah, there were many times. Oh God, <laughs> we're grown. <laughs> we're grown people. <laughs> we're looking at this. We're like, grown adults. Him, My someone, poor wife I is walking around as we're filming around yeah. our house at like eleven at night. <laughs> I said it to him that I was just I was in the zone. I was in the creative mindset. I was just in the directorial mindset. I was just boom, boom we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna go here, we're gonna do this, and this is how this angle's gonna look. And then there was one moment where I was just watching the video back where I just fell out of that mindset completely. I was looking at it and I'm like creative frozen. This is stupid. It's, yeah, it's creative like, creatively well, frozen. Well, <laughs> oh, no. This all started on a but the moment you say it's stupid, we are you're like lost. Well, it, it all started it all started because I had a kernel of an idea. Which we're not gonna say. Which I'm not gonna say, but we're I, teasing it. But we're I not came gonna say up it. with it on a walk, uh, on a run, because we run together every Wednesday, him and I, mm-hmm. and then on a, we we have a little walk back, so it doesn't equal exactly. So we have like a little recovery walk back, and I was like, hey, I had this idea, and then like he's like, yeah, yeah, we should do that, and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's a good idea, right? He's like, yeah, and then like the next day he wrote a script. Yeah, quickly on that. On that so drive. yep. So I had an initial thought, then he wrote the script, and then. He had he knew how to direct it out. Um, I did some choreography with him mm. on the uh, on the part that we're on some mention. parts of acquired choreography. Nick is in it, and uh, I'm yeah. in this one. Nick is in it. I did uh, two or three camera angle suggestions, but these guys, wow, really cool <laughs> stuff, really fun stuff. Yeah, and there's also someone in it that you might not be expecting. But we'll leave it at that. We're not going to say anything else about it. Uh, if you're listening on audio only, you should also give us every star possible. It's always five. I mean, there's no service that gives you more than five. Well, stars. We, don't forget, we have some people. But that what if are there out, is in the future? Though. There might be. I'm just getting ahead of the game. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. you don't getting know. Ahead like, of the game. What if like 20 years down the line? And in the future, now, like, what, what I would say stars? is, like, after you're done trick or treating and you're in your house and you're counting your candy, we should be in the background playing so all of your family and friends can be entertained while you're going through all your candy and maybe even sneak podcast. some of your friends' candy into your pocket. Did you guys do that? Did you guys do the trading of the candy when you went trick or treating? Sometimes. With yeah, my no, siblings. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, do we that. Because there's certain siblings, things. Some of my friends. Yeah. Like, I had friends that liked black licorice. I hated oh, it. Who so likes we would black trade. licorice? Um, it's, I had some Oh, friends. great. Steve likes black licorice. No. I had friends that liked I candy corn. Who would have liked candy, candy corn? Candy corn, you know what I mean? So, my wife claims yeah, to like candy, candy corn. corn. Yeah, I, no, no thanks. Can't do candy corn. Yeah, no candy corn. So I would trade the candy corn out. I was a big uh, Reese's Pieces, Three Musketeers. Uh, Twix, uh, Kit Kats, those are the things in my in oh, my Kit jam. Kats, yes. yes, yes. You know, there are some new ones that are making their way into like I like some of the the gummy Skittles are pretty good. 
Got me Skittles are very good. Uh, they're yes, making yes. their way into my, uh, my God. I like, good. I like traditional way. Skittles. Oh, I traditional do too. I, I do too. Yeah. Traditional Skittles are put... Gummy lifesavers, they've been making a little appearance in, in the little... Gummy's done a complete uh, turnaround. And now, now, here's the thing, though. That's Is that gummy brand or lifesaver brand? No, it's lifesaver brand. Mm, see, so gummy loses out. Well, until next time. I've been steamed. Ooh. I'm just going to say it normal. Always, Dave. You're boring. I am. Still, Nick. See, he gets into it. <laughs> oh, that was good. So my dad always does that. So growing up, we talk about the haunted maniacal mansion. Laugh. Since, since that laugh, the maniacal laugh. Uh-huh. So the haunted mansion. For whatever reason, my sister does all the roller coasters, but that would always freak her out, even though it's a goofy ride. Really? You know the one really? you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, in the opening, when you get in the room and the yes. lights all shut off. Yes, in that circle room. Yep. So the lights and all shut off. My dad would always go and laugh. He does the oh, evil laugh, no, and my sister would always go, ah! It's, it's like, oh my God, every year he does this. What is, it's like, come on. It's the laugh from Thriller at the end, too, where he oh. laughs a little bit higher. Uh-huh. Do, you watch, uh-huh. do you watch Thriller? Uh-huh. Do you watch Thriller on Halloween? Uh, I do. I, I just do not my song. kids, though. They can't watch. But they when can't I was watch y- the, the I video? When I was younger, I couldn't even. I watched it once, and I was like, I'm good without Thriller. Some of Michael Jackson's stuff was creepy. Thriller was, Thriller was made to be creepy. Did you ever see the movie where he becomes a car? Yeah, there are certain parts that of that so movie creepy. were really creepy. Yeah. Yes, I, I watched it once as a kid. I was like, I can't. I when can't. he's first like transitioning, it was it's, yeah, the yeah. way they made it look. Yeah, ooh, not a fan. Ooh. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, you're probably not as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> as mature and educated as Dave is at this point in time. So, yeah. uh, Thriller, if you're a young kid, do not watch it unless your parents are in the room. But it is a really good video. Yeah, watch the uh, listen. Just listen to it. You can just listen to the song. You don't need to see the video. No, watch a video. Yeah, you the stay dance. kicking internet. Yeah, the dance is great.